Zam. I'm pregnant. But on Tremo, why did we have to stay on this frozen wasteland? Well, Izzy, it was your idea to wear fishnets to the Arctic, so I'm not sure you can blame anyone for that. It's not my fault that you have no sense of style. Well, as you said, you were the ones who wanted work and you didn't want to stay in college any longer. Plus, we needed field researchers out in the Arctic sector, so I thought you and your brother would be perfect for that. He loves the cold, you know him. Okay, Aunt Trema. Oh, Crabman's here. I have to go. You two play nice, all right? Make sure you check back in regularly so we can get updates on the sector. Fine. Goodbye. Ta-ta! Oh, where is that idiot brother of mine? <laughs> I don't know how you can stand to be out here, Van. I love the cold weather. Are you kidding me? That's perfect. It's like it's always Christmas. I mean, uh, I'm so cold, I might as well not even exist. Well, I mean, you are wearing fishnets. Maybe if you put it on something heavy like me, it won't be so cold. Boys don't get style. <laughs> I don't get cold either. Van, I'm bored. Can we go somewhere though? Well, we could start the field research. Shouldn't be too hard. I just finished waxing my reaver. Ugh. So now we'll have a lot of fun. It'll be a lot easier to traverse these damn planets. Oh, uh, all boys always waxing their reavers. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why mom says I was so good at that. Well, here, pervert, you can use that. Hmm. This issue is kind of old, but thanks anyway. The cool thing is, at least Auntie let us borrow one of her ships. These things are so cool. Yeah, at least I have a good aunt. Ah. <laughs> you remember when mom stole one of these? That was pretty cool. Mom is cool, unlike my brother. Also, Aunt Trema has taste. Why am I blanking on that? <laughs> because you don't have a brain, Van. Dude, who needs brains when I have this cool ship? You mean Aunt Trema has this cool ship? Hey, there's an Avakin ship here. I always thought Avakins smelled funny. Yeah, they do a little bit. I mean, they live in the desert after all. They're probably very sweaty. Van, you turned your ship off. What's going on? My goodness. I'm, I'll learn how to work this thing eventually. Just give me a minute. Alright, so I think I hit this button here. And then- Oh, here we go! <laughs> Whee! Great. It's piloted by an idiot. Technically, all computers are idiots. You just have to tell them what to do. Van, why are we in nowhere? Ugh, I should have stayed with mom. Can't stay with mom. She's out pursuing whatever the hell she's doing. Metaphysics or whatever it's called. Sciencey stuff. It's true. It's creepy. The blistering is covered with desert heat. Old ruins of the ancient fire are scattered here. Ooh, sounds magical. You were just complaining you were cold. Let's go heat up. Sounds good to me. Ben, you're not very good at, uh, ranges. Well, I guess I blew the landing by a couple hundred yards. It happens. Hey, we're in the sky! This does seem to be a pretty high altitude. Look at this weird rock. What do you suppose this is? Blistering cobblestone. Hmm. African stuff. Oh, yeah. 
Sis, it's the smelly oh, lizards! Yeah. Oh shit. Ah. Smelly lizards are shooting at his fan. Wow. <laughs> These boomerangs are cool. <sighs> you alright? I just got shot, Van. Well, we've got uh, we've got Sav in here. You're making me miss the cold. Oh, make up your mind. Oh, <gasps> cats. <laughs> At least they go down easy. <laughs> I bet they do. <laughs> oh, oh shit! It's raining fire. <sighs> ah. Hey, look! I picked up the pixels from over there. Well, at least you're doing something useful. Hey! That's cool! I didn't know these things could do that. Hello down there. How did Mom and Dad do this for so long? I don't know. I... Ooh! That wasn't me this time. I swear. Well, I mean, they're like... They were like Space Jesus or something. They're like... It's weird. Somehow, a mom went on about the, oh, we were chosen by the cultivator. We went to the Ark, we killed the planet. And I'm like, eh, I don't know if I believe that shit, but... It sounds cool, though. That, however, does not look cool. I never did understand mom's pirate look, though. She just didn't want to work for Auntie. I, I don't know, I don't know why. At least Dad had culture. I mean, I, whoa. That, I was all, that. <laughs> Explosions and I'm on fire. Although I can't believe Dad used to be, you know, blood sacrifices and stuff. Like, what is that? Yeah, avians are kind of weird. <laughs> we should, uh. I should probably find some shelter. Yeah. I was trying to avoid that. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't believe you. You would not believe the planet they have us living on. Yeah, it's cold. You might like it there. Less chances of being on fire. Well... <sighs> Burn the window down. Mm. What? Van, what happened to the person who was here? Uh, he flew away, I think. That's it. Why does it smell like cooked chicken? Mmm... I don't know. I was dousing a tail fire a moment ago. That's probably what it was. Ugh. Another bird! Sis, you like sand? <laughs> We're in the right spot! See, Van? Avians know where to live. They didn't choose an ice world. Don't mind me. Oh, I didn't choose one either, but it was the only one that was available. Wow, this planet sucks. Uh, do we want to continue field research here, or should we go somewhere moderate? Well, the threat level is moderate here, but... I meant temperature, Van. Ah! It looks like the... The sky fire has stopped. Van, that looks like the stuff you drink. Mmm, you want some? Toxic sludge loaded with parasites and ickiness? Yeah, I'd love some. <laughs> Just like home. Ah, those are mean glitches. You're doing good, sis! Nice! <sighs> Trying to aim a slingshot here, Van. Well, you could have brought a gun. Like he did. Hang on, I gotta pull that out of my ankle. Guns are okay. so primitive. I mean, we can make some cool pew pew guns. I'm sure you'd like those. You, uh, you want a boomerang? I can let you have one of these. Fine. Wait, you do have a gun. Where'd you get that? 
It's just for marking research purposes. What? What? <laughs> That's a paintball gun. That's not going to do us any good here. Hey, how's it going? Hey. 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 You're not very nice. Who lives on a planet like this? People who don't need to wear clothes. Look. Fan. I'm w in. Uh, uh. This is not the kind of oil I had in mind. Uh. This stuff is bad for my hair. Do you know how offensive it is for a bird to be tarred? Uh-oh. That's an angry lizard there. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Just be glad you have a capable sister, Van. Yeah. Well, at least the sun's coming up. Ah, and look! Green! Ah... Hmm... Oh, how high up are we? Well, Van, we're in the clouds, apparently. It's weird to see cl cloud vapor at this low of an altitude. Why, Van, you almost sounded smart. I guess you did pay attention to a few classes. I read sometimes. This kind of stuff intrigues me. Why do you think they call these a quarter staff? Where's the other three parts? Ugh. Wee hoo! Nice. Well, somebody's given him a dangerous toy. How long do you think these people have been here? This place looks ancient. That's why I never understood Glitch. The biggest hipsters all the way back in the medieval times. And down below, funny people. Wow, there are funny people here. How are you? And they appear to have manic... manic Mi mi I I don't know. Oh, that was good. Totally just say Manic Milk. <laughs> <laughs> just like home. Just like home. Dad it always did have a funny way of pronouncing things. Metal chickens! Well, that's interesting. They do, in fact, explode. Man. Don't take it as a personal attack, okay? It's a robot, it's fine. Would not want to eat an automato. <laughs> it's just a big round metal ball. I don't think you'd be able to digest that. No. It's the kind of thing a girl will break her beak on. Beak breaker. You always had a way with words, Van. And that way was usually the wrong way. Ow. <laughs> I didn't need those ankles. <laughs> Just Volpe's pain sounds everywhere. <laughs> wow, for a starter world, this is actually pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring the reaver by chance? Of course! What a great idea! Ah, yeah! Well, we're in the clouds. It's happened a lot. Whoa. Yeah, this thing... This thing controls very strangely. Yeah, Dad was never too good at flying those either. Clunk. Dad would be proud, Van. <laughs> wow, fucking... Fucking BDSM house. It could be a stockade van. Do you always have to go for the perverse? There's a poop monster down here! Ah! Well, no. That was an accident. <laughs> Come on. I'm not the poop monster. You're right, the boomerangs are fun. Impacts. I can't believe you went down there. It was free goodies. Eh. I could smell it all the way up here. 
Oh. Uh, excuse me? What is this? I have never seen this before. Dry plates. Used with desert fire. Desert yeah. fire. Ancient chest. Hmm. Wow, things went from zero to interesting, Van. Yeah. This was not on the planetary scan. Where is this coming from? This must have been on the other side of the world or something. What's in here? A very noisy weapon and some other things. Well, that sounded cool. Magifier crystal. Like magic? I didn't think that was still a thing. Magic is a form of energy manipulation, I suppose. Yeah, I guess in the end of the day, we are all made of the same stuff. Ow! Ah! I thought you were dead! Oh. Oh. I appear to be doing that. Oh, wow! I may have to go take back a couple of these samples. I've never seen this stuff before. Hmm. Hmm? Magifier. I picked up a magifier crystal. Why are there core fragments so high up here? Yeah. I've never seen any kind of ore like this. And core fragments this high up in the uh, altitude. Usually we don't find that stuff until way, way down there. So this is all magifier. We're gonna have to look into this magifier stuff. Yeah, this is, uh, this is piquing my interest. Hmm. A magician table. Table that allows you to craft various useful arcane inventions. Ooh. What do we need for that? We're gonna need some cobblestone and some iron. Gotcha. Hmm. Wow. Ah, the fire icon. And then blistering cobblestone. Hmm, I see. I've made fire essence. Well, I don't know what it is, but... There you go. Oh, we can make essence out of just about a lot of stuff. Clay? Dry dirt? Dirt? Now the important question is... How did I wind up with 25 poop? Oh, it's probably that poop hole we went into. I'm gonna barf. Alright, I'll be in here making essence, I guess.